My path to NASA was a bit unexpected for me. I liked science in high school and I wasn't really sure where I wanted to be when I grew up though. And the Air Force had offered me a scholarship to study chemical engineering and I took that opportunity. Money for college was very hard to pass up and chemical engineering sounded science-based so I, I thought I'd give it a shot. So I studied chemical engineering at the University of Pittsburgh and commissioned as an officer when I graduated college. And I spent four years at Edwards Air Force Base doing developmental tests. And about that time my commissioning was about to end, my four-year commitment, I heard of an opportunity at NASA Armstrong at Edwards Air Force Base opening up. And I, I wasn't quite sure if I should apply. I wasn't really sure if I, my experience was enough to, to bridge over to, to NASA. But I realized that that was my dream job is to always work for NASA and, and why not give it a shot. So I, I applied over there and it was my experience with the Air Force that translated very well over to NASA Armstrong. My name is Kay McMurtry, I work at NASA and this is my story. Currently I'm the branch chief of the operations engineering branch here at Armstrong and I work to help develop and manage the group of engineers. The main role of an operations engineer is to integrate the research and science from the research and science community onto an aircraft and either flight test or do science flights to collect that information and bring that information back to the research community to continue on to do more work. And that requires not only an understanding of engineering, but also a lot of leadership, communication, and teamwork as we are one of the leads on a project by nature of the role and we interface with not only the researchers and the mechanics and the techs who do the work, but also the pilots who flight test. When I was an operations engineer working on the F-18s, one of the more thrilling experiences is being a mission controller. And a mission controller is the person in the control room who is directing the flight and is the primary communicator between the rest of the researchers and engineers in the control room and the pilot flying the aircraft in the test range. And it can be an exciting experience to get the data and it can also be a little bit nerve wracking because if there's any issue, you're the one that's directing the flight, you're the one that's assisting the pilot in an emergency. And so, but it was always great to, to come back and, and have a great flight and have collected the data that you set forth to get. Just always an exciting experience to be kind of real, um, in the moment, hands-on experience as a mission controller and just kind of being the person that's, that's coordinating the whole flight. Teamwork is a huge aspect here at NASA Armstrong. We have to rely on everyone bringing their, their knowledge base and their niche to the table through problem solving and, and developing flight test regime, so it's really great um, to know that you don't have to have all the answers, but you have a lot of people that are part of the team that have the answers that can just kind of bring the right solution and develop the right solution to move forward and, and be successful. So it's just a dynamic team environment here, which has just made it really fun and a really good ground for learning new things that you've never learned before, just by being integrated with other people. One of my favorite accomplishments is getting my private pilot's license mainly because I had to overcome motion sickness and face some fears and work on my confidence throughout the process. It's a lot of training and there's moments where you wonder if you're ever just gonna get it and if things are gonna click and you have to just stay with it. And there's scary moments like when you solo for your first time and you feel like you're not ready. Um, but to get through those fears and build on your confidence was just a good accomplishment for me that I look back on and I'm very happy about. Getting my private pilot's license has really helped me understand the flight environment and terminology, and it's just really helped me in my career at NASA. My biggest life lesson to date is not to be your first obstacle in your way of your goals. Uh, I almost did not apply for NASA, and um, mainly because I come from a very small town, I consider myself a very average person, and I thought NASA was only for the super smart people, astronauts, PhDs, people who invent things, and I just didn't think I had a place at NASA even though I really wanted to be there. Now that I work for NASA I realize that there's a lot of different areas of work and level of expertise desired at NASA and there's really a place for a lot of people here so um, it's just been a really great life lesson and I try to, to not be the first thing in my own way. The thing that I'm most proud of to date is being active duty military and serving my country in that way. I think that everyone can serve their country in many different forms and fashions, but I'm proud to have served as an active duty member.